Hey everyone, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing what I think I'm doing. <laughs> it depends on how it changes throughout this video, but I think I'm going to do like a royal blue kind of smoky eye, but not too much because I don't want to wear lashes. I just want to put on some mascara. So we'll see how this goes. It's nice and rainy out today, so I was like, why not go for a gloomy makeup look? <laughs> So if you guys want to see how I got this, then please keep watching. <laughs> okay, so to begin, number one, I'm watching Lucifer on Netflix. So if you hear something, that's what that is. I just can't do my makeup like in silence, even if I'm not even watching this show right now, which I'll be looking down to watch this show because I love this show, but I cannot do my makeup in quiet. I don't know why. It just gives me anxiety. But anyway. <laughs> So I've already um, moisturized and I have a few little pimples going on if you can see those. So today to prime my skin I am going to go ahead and combine my Becca Backlight Priming Filter and my Laura Geller Spackle Treatment um, Primer <laughs> and yeah I'm just going to mix these together. Put them on my face if I can get any out. So I'll go ahead and rub this into the skin with my fingers. I'm using this because I want our skin to be kind of glowy today. Even though I'm using a matte foundation. And I bet you guys can't guess what foundation because I've been using it forever, but whatever. Ah, uh, y'all, this show, so good. <sighs> so good. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. So, now I'm going to move on to foundation. I'm using my Maybelline Super State Full Coverage Foundation. I'm using the shades 112 and 130. No big difference, but I'm mixing them together because one's too light and one's too dark. And I have these, so I spend the money getting a shade in the middle. <laughs> So what I normally do, I do two pumps of the lighter and then one pump of the darker. Just to get to my perfect combo. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on to the face. Using my beauty blender, of course. Today, I'm wanting like pretty full coverage, mostly because I'm breaking out, but <laughs> I also want full coverage for this eye look, just because I don't want to use lashes or anything, so I need something in the look to be like really, really dramatic, so it's going to be the skin today. Okay, so now, um, as you can see, I did go down my neck and jawline to make sure that we have no harsh makeup lines or anything. I am wearing like a turtleneck, well, not really a turtleneck, it just comes up kind of high. So I'm trying not to go down too far so I don't get makeup on my black shirt. Let's see how that goes. Um, sorry, I'm gonna be pausing throughout this whole video because like, this show so much anyways so then I'm gonna flip my beauty blender to the clean side and I am just going to go like around my nostrils make sure that that area is nice and blended in because around my nostrils right here I don't know my foundation just lays weird 
for concealer, I am taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain, this little thingy. I love this concealer. Um, the only thing is the packaging sucks, but whatever. I am just putting this in all of the places I want to highlight, bring light to, I love that to good stuff. My heater kicked on, hold on. Okay, so um, to blend in my concealer, I'm going in with this ETBT Little Real Technique sponge. I'm just going to press this down into the skin. This concealer is so brightening. I mean, this is, I think this is the lightest shade. I'm not sure, but this is like my perfect shade it brightens so well and it just covers up all the discoloration in my face Okay, so um, now that I have all that blended in, I'm going in with my pretty vulgar, the Powder Room Matte About It Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a little bit of this into the lid. Okay, it's a lot more than a little bit. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that our under eye creases are blended out. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, take this powder, put it directly underneath the eyes and then tap it down into the skin. I do not like to let my powder sit on the skin. I like to tap it in, cause I feel like I get a better result. told you he's the devil I don't know why y'all don't believe him All right, I'm probably gonna be doing that a lot during this video I'm just like randomly getting into my show. <laughs> I was talking about it. I need to turn that down. Rude. So I'm also going to go ahead and powder these small ones so I don't get all creasy. Sorry, I need to stop being distracted. Now I'm just gonna take my brush and use whatever powder is left over on my face just to kind of like move it around and set the rest of the skin. Okay, so before I finish my face, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. So I'm just gonna blend out my creases with my fingers. 
going in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I am taking these two shades right here just to begin my transition area. And I'm taking these on my Sonia Kashuk um, large domed blending brush. I'm gonna begin by just tapping this in right in here. I'm not going all the way in. But I am just tapping, tapping at first because I don't set my eyelids. So I don't wanna move that product around. So I just kinda tap it down to lay it down and then I'll go back through and blend. I'm gonna go in with a second layer. And the less product I get on my brush, I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner just to get some pigmentation in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, this, wait, which one? <laughs> this shade right here. Also from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I am going to go ahead and switch to my, I think this is an It Cosmetics like um, blending crease brush. I'm going to go ahead and dip in and I'm going to begin working this directly into the crease. With that first shade we went a little bit above the crease to create that transition. But this I'm going right in the crease and then I'm blending it as I go. I'm also bringing that into the inner corner, the less product I get on my brush, just so that area isn't blank. Little Laura Lee eyeshadow palette taking this bright blue right here I'm going in on this little real techniques brush it's just a little bit tapered fits right in the crease so I am just gonna take this and just begin working it in from the crease down all the way across the lid As you can see, I am really just blending at this, but I am not bringing it above the crease, keeping this nice and low and in the crease. And the more you blend this, the less like bright and vibrant that it gets, which is fine because we don't really want that. In with those two shades or three shades actually that we've been using from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just gonna run these in So now that we have the blue added and everything, I want a little hint of a darkness. So I'm just going to take the black from the Shacklin Hill palette and I'm taking like the itty bittiest little bit and I'm tapping it off like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this at the outer V and that is it. So once I get that little bit of black added, I'm going back in with that brush that had the blue on it and I'm just going to diffuse that. Okay, 
So um, I just add a little bit of powder on the edges just to make sure everything's nice and clean and pretty. Before the lid shade, I'm going in with my Perk Midnight Masquerade. Ah! Oh man, I stuck my finger in it. Whatever. <laughs> it's an eyeshadow palette and a face palette. I'm taking this blue right here. I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna apply this to the lid. applying this blue like halfway across the lid maybe like three-fourths but I am NOT bringing it over that black in the outer corner I'm just kind of connecting it with it once I have that on just because I'm really extra I'm gonna go in with my little Alamar Cosmetics Rena del Caribe palette I'm taking this shade right here that really pretty dark blue and I'm literally just gonna go right over top the same places So, wipe that away, and as you can see, I have a nice crisp line. So for the lower lash line, I'm going back in with that um, Laura Lee palette, and I'm taking that blue shade, taking it on an angled brush, and I'm going to begin pressing this into my lower lash line as close to the lashes as possible. I am taking this from inner corner to outer corner all the way across. Okay, now that we have that little bit on, I'm going to take some more of that blue on this itty bitty little Luxie mini flat angled brush. Itty bitty little thing. I'm going to go ahead and begin blending at this and smoking out the lower lash line. take my little brush it's just um the brush I applied that blue with at first and I am just not putting any more product on it and I'm just running this underneath the lower lash line just to make sure there's no harshness okay so I went ahead and took some black and um made like a little wing but I didn't use a liner I used um, some black eyeshadow so now moving on to the face i'm going in with my urban decay beached bronzer i'm using this little eco tools precision blush brush i'm just gonna put this right underneath the cheekbones I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this around the forehead and around the temples to bring some color back into my face. I'm also gonna take this around the jawline. For blush, I'm going in with this makeup revol. What am I saying? <laughs> this makeup revolution blush palette. I'm gonna take this really pretty, like cool toned shade right here. I don't want too much on the cheeks, but I need a little something. Right. 
right, so now for the fun part. I <laughs> hope this doesn't ruin this whole makeup look because I'm gonna be pissed. But anyways, it's one of those Makeup Revolution Cool Glow palette and I'm gonna take, first of all, I'm gonna take this one and highlight to my cheeks. We'll see how this goes. And that one, I mean, it's like, it's fun. It's just a little silver. So I'm actually going in with my Becca a pretty Ski Glow face palette, taking this blue highlight right here called Icicle. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right on top. Glad I did that. Looks good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go off camera super quick and I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and put on some mascara and then I'll be back for lips. Okay, so now that I have all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and put some brow gel through my eyebrows. To finally finish, <laughs> going in with my Milani, mm, yeah, with my Amani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade 10 Adorable, and put this on the lips. I'm going to pop some gloss. I'm going to go with my NYX Butter Gloss and I shade Tiramisu. Now let me go fix myself up and I'll be right back. So if you guys like this, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, um, leave me a nice comment, all of that stuff. And if you guys did enjoy, then I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.